We are here at the West Coast Rally and we are with some newfound friends. Pat and Stacy McCarthy. Pat and Stacy. And they have got kind of a unique HDT. So why don't you tell me about your rig? 2012 International Pro Star. I got it in Texas and then we built the box in a shop in Fullerton and made it them together. Designed it on CAD and built it from the ground up. Every nut, bolt, and washer from the ground up. My wife really? and I. Really? So you, you, you built it yourself? Me, my beautiful wife, and my two kids, 35 year old and 31 year old boys. Wow. And a nephew, Seth yeah, Rangel, yeah. helped us. He welded every once in a while. Give him something to do. So, what prompted you to go this route? We had the crew cab duallys and saw there was a safety issue with their not having big enough brakes and not enough power to pull out of the hole. So. Okay. And we also went to a lot of RV shows, let's say Pomona, California. Okay. And I would open up a cupboard. These new RVs drove from, let's say they were built in Indiana and like the cupboard would practically fall off in my hand and I didn't feel that I should put out this amount of money for the quality that I was getting. So when okay. I explained Cookie. it all to him, he said I can make a better product. Yeah. So when you were at the RV shows, what kind of RVs were you looking at? Anything from all the way from $25,000 vehicles all the way to $2 million Prevost and you'd still see a mirror hanging, laying on the bed or trim falling off a of Prevost and everything else. Didn't matter for price. Their quality was mass produced. Um, they drill a little or a little piece of plumbing coming out of the floor and they drill a big three inch hole and fill the rest of it with spray foam instead of just drilling the right hole in the first the right size hole in the first place. So you were looking at class A's? We looked at everything. We looked at everything we had race car haulers like um, toy boxes and stuff. We'd done that and had a couple of them. It was tried to time to step up to a real truck. So. Okay, so but but you've got a really unique setup. Well, I think it works for us. It, it I, I, it's awesome. Works it's for us. it's awesome, and and you do a lot of boondocking. Ninety percent of our stuff is boondocking. Ninety yeah, percent, really? At least, at least. Yeah. You looked at Class A's. You looked yeah. at the sliding campers, maybe. Uh, we didn't go that small. Okay. We, were looking, we went from a forty-two foot trailer. That was our last one. So okay. It was time to. They were too big, so we went places with them, and we could everything had to be outside with it. So okay. I made this is thirty-four foot nine inches long with just the truck. And if you had a 35 foot maximum, we see could, we could fit in now. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so. And you've got a utility trailer, which is kind of unique back here. I just finished that a couple months ago, put the teeter totter on top. You call it a teeter totter? It's a teeter totter. It's okay. It's a fulcrum and teeters over, and you don't have to have ramps, and it just drives. Tips so you over. carry your side by side? Yep. You carry your pickup? Last year we went to Alaska and Canada, and we did not have the side by side up on the rack, so. We just took the pickup and the canoe as is like that without the upper deck. So okay. I finished the upper deck right beforehand. She painted it with a bed liner paint and real, we're happy with it. I got everything we need pretty it's much beautiful. with it. So yeah, it's beautiful. It handles real well. And we have everything we need right now to do our adventure. So, so let's talk a little bit more. You say 90% of your stuff is boondocking. Yeah. We went 18,000 miles last year on our trip and about well, about 4,000 miles in a little truck on the adventures and excursions out into the wilderness and everything in Canada and Alaska. So, so how do you how do you deal with your power issues? Power issues. We have solar on the roof. Okay. And I have big uh, 400 amp batteries in it. So two years. Now the six month trip last year we used a generator twice for a couple of days just because we had bad weather and there's no sunshine. But, so what kind of generator do you do you take with you? I have two generators. I have a Honda 2000 in the back of the little truck, and I also have a Champion Champion on the other one. But okay. I wasn't planning on putting a Champion in here, so I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I tried to make it so I never had to have a generator. Yeah. So, so I, how, do you know how much solar you've got on the roof? I have 650 on the roof and 800 on 800 amp hours on the battery. Okay, that's a lot of amp hours. It works. Yeah. So it charges every night. Boom, we're at 100 percent before we go to bed. No, no issues going through the gray in Alaska? Uh, except for the two times that we had to start dinner in. That was okay. it. So, okay. no, it's, 
I wish I didn't have to start a generator anytime. So, so the question that I'm going to get on this is, how's the ride? How's the comfort? I love it. Yeah. I really do. I like it. Air ride seats, I assume? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Air cab? Air yes. cab, yes. Yeah, so, great. just like any heavy duty truck? Yep. Mm -hmm. I had the front end redone on the when we purchased it. They replaced every nut and bolt, kingpin, bearing, seals on the front end, all new brakes all the way around it, new tires all the way around it. And and it, and it had how many miles on it when you bought it? I bought it at 285 and it's got 314 now. So you put a few miles on it. Yeah, we're just getting started. <laughs> I just retired, 32 years as a union sheet metal worker, so I told her this was the plan and she went along with it somehow. And Well, the fit and finish, like I told you, is beautiful. I think it's it. absolutely it gorgeous. I, I, a lot of it, not to brag, I'll put up against most products out there. So yeah. It no, took a lot of time. It's beautiful. I threw a lot of product away to make sure it fit. Right. So wow. The first one may not have fit, so it went to the side. In the band of, pile. Yeah. So tell me about, so air ride cab, air ride seats. So obviously the bed's going to twist and, yep. and tweak going down the road. How did you deal right. with that? Right, we made a pass through through it on the original design and I put a accordion boot which flexes I think from 4 inches to 11 inches of flex. So I added two more airbags on the cab. Um, I had extra air airbags off the back of my dually that I never mounted. So in case there was ever an air problem the cab would never sink and rip the okay. accordion boot. And and no issues. Oh, it's beautiful. And you told me the other day how many bolts are holding this, There's this eight, box on. Eight, 18 bolts that are 5 8 grade 9 bolts. So. And I make yeah. them go under there. Oh, you I, do? Oh, I yes, go, I do. I, go, I want them checked. I, just I, painted, to be sure. I painted them, I marked them so they see if a nut even turned. Or, okay. And I re torqued them every once in a while. So I checked them probably four times on the last trip because that Alaska trip is quite uh, treacherous on some areas. <laughs> so, fun. Uh, I don't know. I drew it on CAD and then I had laser cutter, elite laser in Southern California, cut all the laser parts. It went together like a big puzzle, tack welded and welded up. How long did it take you to complete? I believe 14 months so from beginning to end. And I was still working 40 hours a oh, week. Oh, I was going to, so okay, so you were. Seven days a week I was at the shop till too long every night. So. Okay. Yeah. Would you do it again? Do it again? Oh yeah, yeah. If well, I don't know, I don't have a shop like they had before, but I, I, it was fun. It was a good build. Okay. It, it went together. It was fun to have the kids. This is all single piece fiberglass on the sides, top. It's three eighths of an inch thick fiberglass, and the floor is seven eighths of an inch fiberglass. And it's just fun to have Puzzle the kids there to we set it all in one big piece and route it all, everything out. So, are you on the road full time? Not yet. We haven't made We're that decision. There. Yeah. Okay. About, about another year or two, we'll be doing full time. But we still go back to Arizona, outside of Bullhead. Okay. A couple months out of the year. Okay. Yeah. So, can you show us the inside? Oh yes. All right. After you. Keys are in it. So, tell us about the inside a little bit. I designed this originally to have a UTV drive on the inside. So this is just a garage. Oh okay. So, until I started putting all the cabinetry in. And the wife says she wanted a bed, but I made a bed in the front. In I made a dinette and a bed inside the cab in the sleeper. Okay. And then she was, I didn't have the uh, Murphy bed okay. done at all, so the UTV could drive in. And she wanted a full-time bed that she didn't have to make blankets and sheets on. Okay. So I came up with a Murphy bed idea. And it works. We watched a thousand shows on tiny tiny homes, so. I'm still in the process of trying to, trying to find a folding shower. If you Google folding shower, there's one in Europe. I looked again yesterday and I still can't find it. It shows pictures of it, but I can't find contact information. Okay. So I came up with that. It folds down and well, again, this came from tiny homes, just uh, you didn't have to take any space on So it's kind of a, a an all-in-one wet shower, wet bath, basically. Well, kind of, this is a tub. Tips down, you take the plug out, oh, sets down, I and see. you sit inside the. Okay. And you, I have closed pins to hold it so it doesn't drain water out. It all drains into the tub and drains down. Okay. It's not a million dollar rig that might be next door, but it, again, this was a garage, just like that. Yep. It's a garage. Yep. Uh, okay, and then you've got a TV here in the back. Yep, TV in the back. And TV was in the front, too. 
It was again, this was a garage until the wife wanted to. Did you ever use it as a garage? Did you ever never. actually pull a rig in? Never. Because furniture was good being set. I set all the furniture and then I came up with that and I never pulled the UTV in. So. Okay. This was all made to fit so the tire sat over the top of the wheel well. Okay. Um, and insulation wise, what have you got? Ins I mean, because it's nice and cool in here. So the tube frame is all inch and a half, inch and a half, 120 wall. And the kickers are at, no, at 90 wall. And I spray after we put the wiring and the plumbing in the inside, it's all spray foamed on the inside. It's got a 2x4 ceiling, 090 wall. Um, floors, 2x4. And okay. it's all spray foamed throughout the whole entire thing. So it's pretty quiet in here, too, I would imagine. It, yeah, it works great. So I, yeah. it keeps nice and cool and nice and warm, depending on the temperature outside. Sure. I'm a tinkerer, so I always have to have tools, so tools always come with me. So, so you've actually got, yeah, a whole a whole top box yeah. sitting in here. Uh, washer and dryer, we've never put even water in it yet. We've never even turned on electricity. Oh, no know, so. kidding. So I bought it for, so, hey, we're going to have washer and dryer. I've never even plugged it in, never <laughs> turned it on. It's all wired and everything. I've never even tried turning it on. So Wow. We hit laundry mats when, the, when we need to. So. Okay. And the cabinets are gorgeous. You had those specially made? I had them made to fit in here, yeah. Okay. And then I installed everything. So, again, everything from plumbing to electrical, every screw, either my wife or myself or my two kids do it. So. Okay. And then this is your pass through? This up just to keep a little bit more privacy and or to keep heat in and around. Sure. I mean, you've got. You've got everything you need in here. You've got your 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 fridge, microwave, cooktop, sink, yep. plumbed with the cabinets. I had a beautiful, very expensive glass sink that I was going to mount there. It's in my shop out in Arizona, and I never installed it because it would have been eight feet away from that sink. So oh, okay, was, I figured I'd have a little bit more counter space. Okay. Um, the pass through, like I said, it has an accordion flange about three inches inside here. You don't even see it. I had an upholstery shop, which I'm not real happy with because I wanted a nice clean lines and it looks tight. And when I, before we went to Alaska, as soon as he got it done, I told him, I said, it's too tight. I think it's going to rip. That cab flexes. The box doesn't flex. It's solid with the truck, but the cab flexes with the air right up and down, left and right. And he says, if it rips, I'll fix it. So I almost accidentally put a cut in it just so I'd have it done correct the second time so because I this just bothers me I everybody doesn't have a problem with it I wouldn't have a problem if it was nice and smooth like the sides but this it's just too tight for my liking so. so you've got in the in the sleeper you've got the refrigerator uh, any other cooking facilities in the nope. sleeper nope. okay so it's the just, fridge and cabinets yep, it's a bed roof workstation yep. Yep. It used to be a single bed that fade, or folded down and I made it into a dinette. Okay. We never eat in there. We do most of our eating standing here. So it's okay. just too much. Why spend eight minutes to fix it when we just eat and go back outside? Sure. My wife and I eat, play, and do everything outside. The only time we're ever in here is to sleep and maybe watch TV. Otherwise, I don't care if it's rain or snow, we're outside there underneath the awning. So. Okay. We're always outside people. We never, this is just to sleep. Okay. Um, and oh. then and then automatic transmission automatic 10 speed automatic okay um, i sent the ecu to a place in arizona and they tuned it up it used to be at 1700 foot pounds of torque now it's at 550 horsepower with 2550 foot pounds of holy smoly so it i it gets i walked on a renegade about probably almost the same exact length pulling a jeep and we were pulling up on a hill and i walked on him like he was standing still and i <laughs> I was wondering if why he wasn't giving a gas on that big hill. So. <laughs> and then, of course, the question I always get with my rig, the million dollar question, what's your gas mileage? Um, I've gotten between 8 and 11. Okay. And I figure I, I'll, I know I have 300 gallons of fuel, and I know I'm going to get a no less than 2,400 miles. So I, ever, I say I'm getting 8 miles a gallon because I never will okay. get much ever lower than that. So. Okay. And then... Um, do you know what the rear end is in the truck? I don't even hand? know. What okay. No. What, what what speed do you normally cruise at, just out of curiosity? Well, if anybody's listening, I do 55. But I am out of California, I'm saying. Usually 72 to 75 miles an hour. Pull and what kind out. of RPMs are you turning there then? Mm, right at 15, okay. 14. Okay. Right, right and that at, seems to be the sweet spot for it? Oh, it just, yeah, it likes to go faster, but okay. towing, I don't want to be. Sure. I don't like the red and blue lights behind me. 
Well, I can imagine. I like to go faster. I used to always tow between 75 and 85 when I hauled our, our boats to the river. So. Okay. So, now that you've been in it for how long? Well, last year was our maiden voyage, and then okay. this is our second trip. We've only been on this trip for six weeks now. So, changes? I uh, just finished my stereo back here. Okay. I have 800 watts outside, all Alpine system. I have there's 14 speakers in here between the cab and the back. No, oh, 16 wow. speakers in here, all separates. They're here. So it sounds really nice inside now. Okay. So I'm not into loud music, but it's just pure cr crisp music. Okay. Yeah. Well, Pat. I thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Anytime. This is, like I say, this is just gorgeous. I, I think Thank this you. is really, really cool. I'm happy. It's, you should be. I, it's it, beautiful. It turned out better than I did. I literally had tears in my eyes when I put it together. So it, it was quite a, and you should. an accomplishment. Yeah. yeah.